Good morning, YouTube. Hold on, let me have my under shirt. There we go. Speaking of shirts, guys, I have a, a big announcement to make. Our website, Lone Star Texas Ranger dot shop is live and ready to take your orders. So y'all have been on me. Y'all have been on top of it. You all have been telling me, hey, get the website going. Hey, get that merch going. So guess what? Since y'all have been persistent with me, I'm going to be persistent with you. My wife has worked super, super, super hard on the website. So go check it out. Lone Star Texas Ranger dot shop. S-H-O-P. Like I said, she worked day and night for it. And it is up. It is ready. We got all kinds of cool stuff on there. Uh, Y'all go buy a shirt. We have these for 30 bucks. We have your normal t-shirts for 25. And we also have hoodies for, uh, for 40 bucks. Bandanas are coming soon. And uh, beanies. Beanies are also coming soon. Looks like our load did pretty good last night just sitting here. But anyway, yes, our website is now up and running. We got it done early. We were gonna release it January 1st, 2024. But because you guys have been so persistent, we went ahead and released it early. So you can go on there, order you a shirt, order you a, uh, a hoodie, all kinds of cool stuff on there. But go check it out, even if you don't wanna buy anything, a little bit of my stories on there. There's all kinds of little cool, cool little things. Plus, our next giveaway, I'm gonna be asking questions about the website. But leave a, a, um, a comment down below if you did go check out the website at least. And if you have any kind of criticism or any issues, either email me which my email is down there in the description. Um, there will be like a little chat window on the website to where you can shoot a message on there and I'll get that. Um, what else? Uh, or just go buy a t-shirt, go buy something. So everything y'all purchase will be going towards this next uh, venture that we have going on. To so put some uh, revenue back into our pockets and uh, this new bill that we're gonna be doing is gonna cost some money. And so we're gonna be using the merch to uh, to finance, not finance, I, I said I was gonna stop using that word, to monetize, to sponsor uh, what we got coming up next. But see, we're at home in Dayton, Texas. This guy here, truck is warmed up, pre-tripped. I'm gonna do one final walk around just to make sure everything is good, good. And we are gonna go deliver, which is possibly our last load. It's possibly our last delivery. Unless anything else comes up. Um, my date to move forward with, with our future plans has been delayed by possibly a week. So I don't know if I'm gonna still give this truck back or still run it until I'm ready to transition into our next, our next ordeal. But I did get an email this morning. It has been delayed. So that sucks definitely gonna ruin my plans but thank god i did not purchase a plane ticket yet but uh i'm waiting on the confirmation as soon as i get the confirmation i'm gonna book a plane ticket but i've not gotten that yet so yeah guys like i said we're home in dayton texas a little small town as y'all can see love it but yeah guys like i said lone star texas ranger shop our new website we're super 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 excited my wife worked really, 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 really hard. So go leave her a, uh, a good job or some encouragement down there in the comment section. Or if you have any kind of constructive criticism, uh, leave that down there in the comments. Or even if you just went and checked out the website, you know, just let me know down there in the comments. Hey, I checked it out. Give me a thumbs up. Something. Let me know that you went and at least checked it out. But guys, it's time. We're moving on up. We are moving up. We're at a little bit of a standstill right now, a little bit of a pushback with everything being delayed a little bit, but we got some other moving pieces kind of moving, so uh, something's got to keep moving. Everything can't sit still. So anyway, guys, you guys go roll that intro. Oh, I forgot I unhooked my airlines yesterday. I'm going to hook that up real quick, do a final pre-trip. That way, if anybody tried to pull off of my truck, they'd be like, why isn't it moving? Why isn't it moving? Well, there's going to be one extra step you got to do uh, to steal my truck. So anyway, guys, I'm done talking.
Go check out the website, check out that intro, and I'm gonna check you guys out afterwards at our possible last delivery. We're here. Got a little bit of a obstacle course. So I just got a phone call from the agent that I usually run those uh, Houston to Laredo's for. The load I just ran earlier this week. And uh, he said he had an extra one and he asked me if I wanted it. And I told him, yeah. Not the ones that pay seven bucks a mile, but the ones that pay like 370 a mile, something like that. And so I told him, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take it down there for you. <clears throat> Gotta keep them happy. I mean, today is Thursday, so I'm not trying to really sit at home too, too much. But the loads that I'm doing this week is really just to uh, recuperate from that breakdown. I'm trying to stay somewhat close to home. So when I do do my uh, transition, uh, I said do do, ha 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 ha. So when I do do my transition, uh, and I get the phone call when everything is set and ready to go, I can uh, drop what I'm doing and, and go knock it out. So that's why y'all haven't seen me go all over the place. Plus, with this truck being iffy, I don't wanna go too, too far out anyway. Like with me just doing Texas and Louisiana back and forth, I know my way around certain areas. Oh, truck, now you wanna move out of the way, huh? Okay. Oh so yeah, we'll go ahead and go pick it up, shoot down to Laredo, I think it pays 11.50. Can't be too mad at that. And that's way off. Completely misjudged that. Come way up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These other truck tires are looking at me crazy. Like, what is he doing? He can't back up. Y'all only knew.
don't have too, too much space in front of me. Like I am at the edge right now. Try not to tear up the grass. Too much space to maneuver in this, this facility. Right, we'll look close to the dock. Oh. Edge up. Do my little S maneuver. Kick that trailer back over to my right. And then take it straight on back. Oh, too much to the left, too much to the left. There we go. Perfectly straight. It seems like it's gonna be quick. I just walked in there. She radioed somebody. They said dock 16. So I think all these containers are the inbound freight. The stuff coming in from off the ship. And so, uh, I'm bringing in inbound. I think all these other trucks up here are empty. So they're pulling a the freight out of here. But let's see how long uh, this is gonna take. But while we wait, and I still have some cleaning to do, um, you all are probably wondering about the, uh, the thumbnail picture. So, shout out to Visor Buddy, by the way. Visor Extender, VisorBuddy.com. Go check them out, link down there in the description and get you a Visor Buddy. Save 10% by using uh, my code down there in the description. I don't get paid from them. Uh, they just gave me a discount code to pass on to you guys so y'all can save 10%. But we'll go check them out for the Visor Buddy extended, uh, extension and for these nifty Visor Buddy shades. So guys, the thumbnail photo. Back to that. I, sorry guys, I got off track. The thumbnail photo. Remember, if you've been watching the channel for at least two months or so, you would remember that... We were talking about completely restoring and redoing my truck. That is the conversion that we were going to do on that picture. That is the conversion that we were going to do. We were going to change out the headlights, put the hood scoop up there, take off the top wing. The only thing different we were going to do was just clean up the paint on it and keep it black. But we were going to do that drop visor, those little Harley Davidson headlights, which that's a Harley Davidson uh, a conversion kit that you can purchase for the Lone Star. It's like twenty one hundred bucks for the kit for both of them. Um, like I said, the uh, the little wing on top, like, and we were going to stretch it out a little bit and put lights, of course, all over the truck. So that thumbnail that y'all see and the photos that you see here. Um. That is what we were gonna to do to the truck originally. Um, some things have come up um, that it just did not make sense for me to keep this truck. It just did not make sense. And then also an opportunity presented itself. Well, actually several opportunities presented itself. And um, one did not work out. Uh, really, I think two of them did not work out and um which we'll talk about that throughout the remainder of the week um so the first fail was keeping this truck and completely restoring it that was the original plan to completely do it like that because you have not seen a lone star on the road that looks like that uh not to say that it might not happen in the future 
but even the truck that we're getting now that we're gonna you know put some money into you don't really even see this truck at truck shows um just giving y'all another hint um you do see them at truck shows just not many of them and so uh we're still gonna have our own little niche our own little market of a truck uh, I don't think I've even seen this truck from YouTubers on YouTube. Um, I don't... Actually, I may, I may, I've seen one. I've seen one, but it's not really like his main truck. He just has it. Um, actually, no, no, no. I've seen I've seen a few of them. I've, I, I lied. I've seen a few. Not this exact what I have, but something real similar to it. Um, but yeah, so that is what we were originally going to do. The plans fell through. We were gonna put the money into that, re completely redo that truck, and put it into truck shows and uh, do the inside of it. We had a lot of plans for this truck. And, you know, I've been talking to Brad, my mechanic, and uh, we've been talking about it. He was sending me all kinds of stuff and we were really gonna do it, but it just didn't make sense anymore. And so for the opportunity that I have, um, Let's just say I could double what I have for half of what I owe on this on this truck that I'm currently driving right now. Not to mention potential repairs coming up. Not to not to mention an overhaul in the next year or so. I have like 845 on my dash right now. This is a 2015. So I still owe uh I still owe on this truck. So for what I I could double what I have right now. And, but the only thing is it's going to be cash. That's the only thing that's going to hurt. That is going to be some cash. But uh, it's going to be a big risk. But um, that's all I'm going to say. I've given y'all way too much information right there. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, so from what y'all know now, I'm not keeping this. What I was originally going to do, it did not work. Uh, what we were going to do with this truck. And so the opportunity that has presented itself in front of me, um, I could double what I have for half of what I owe on this truck, not to mention repairs and a potential overhaul. So that's all I'm going to say, guys. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't saying nothing more. So, uh, so yeah, y'all got to kind of get a better understanding of what's to come. So, uh, we're completely re, re, we're reconstructing what we have. I, I've been saying in the past video that I'm no longer playing checkers. We're playing chess. And um, it, what we're doing right now is not ideal for right now because it is literally going to drain everything that we have, which is kind of why we have to kind of push the merch ahead of time. One, y'all been asking for it. So I need to go ahead and push it because y'all have been asking and you all support the channel. You all dictate what this channel does and so for you guys we have to push that merch out and then also for what we have to come i need to go ahead and push this merch out and get some other things lined up because it is literally going to drain us to almost nothing so when people say all or nothing go hard or go home you know we're literally putting our last our last little bit into this we did the same thing when i started uh when we started our hotshot company a couple of years ago when COVID hit, we literally took all of our savings, everything that we had, we could have paid off a majority of our debt or invested that money into our hotshot company. We invested it and it was profitable. It was really profitable. That hotshot company, plus our music lessons and other uh, business ventures that we had carried us to survive COVID. And honestly, guys, during COVID, we did not struggle. We were living on top when COVID hit. We were making more money than we'd ever made when COVID hit. So I'm not really one to say we struggled. I mean, we struggled in some ways during COVID, but not really financially. The first few months, yes, but we found out how to be profitable in that pandemic. And so there was different business ventures that we had started. There were some that completely died that we lost 70% of a clientele in our business when COVID hit. And then what we started, you know, just, just, it just really blew up during COVID. So we found something that was going to be profitable uh, in that pandemic that was going to be lucrative. And so right now we're doing the same thing. Like right now, uh, what we're doing right now is not working. Um, it was working last year when uh, the freight market was excellent. So what we're doing right now 
uh, it's not working anymore. So now it's time to change it up. And so literally we're at that point again to where we're gonna put everything that we have into this. Uh, we are taking a really, really, really big risk, but uh, if it fails, you all will be the first to see. And if it succeeds, you all will also be the first to see. But I'm not saying to do what we're doing. I'm just sharing my experience to uh, what we have going on uh, to show that it could work. It may work, it may not work, but we're gonna try something. And we're literally putting our, all our very last penny into this. And if it doesn't work, then we'll have to figure out something else. But uh, I do think it'll work. I don't see why it would not work. It may be slow from, from the beginning, but uh, in the long run, it's the best move to do. So anyway, they have not started unloading me yet. We've been sitting here for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, I might go in here in a little bit just to kind of give them a little bit of a, a push. And I will see you guys once we're unloaded. Uh, I'm also going to get back here and unpack a few things. So, actually, if y'all see, it's a mess back there. But I did get some more containers. So, I'm going to get back there and fill those containers up. And then we're going to go pick up a load that's going down to Laredo. Until, um, and so, we'll be in Laredo tonight. Which we've been to this place several times. So, uh, it should be pretty simple. So, I will see you guys uh, once we're unloaded. We're empty, guys. Man, I just had to back out of that, guys. There was nowhere to turn around, and so I had to back out of it. Like, pull straight down that way and back out between all those trucks. Crazy. Oh yeah. yeah. These were the placards in the last video I was telling you all about. See how these are a lot more sturdy? Got that paper. It's like a plastic. Let me get the rest of these off and let's hit the road. Get to our pickup. All right, guys, we're, we're going home. Apparently they don't uh, have any Landstar loads going out today. This is a place we picked up from before, last week. So we've been here plenty of times. So I'm gonna attempt to make a U-turn out of or get out of here somehow. But uh, I guess we're going home. 
that just may have might as well have been our last load um that we just dropped off today i don't know i mean i could go on the load board and find something else but if we're being honest i'm pretty much me mentally uh out of it not out of it but i'm already uh mentally moved on so i guess i will hop on a load board to see if there's anything else i'm still waiting on the agent to confirm um what's going on here but he said no loads till monday and today's tuesday so um let's head back towards the house if y'all see me u-turn in the time lapse and come right back here then it means that uh, that wasn't the case so all right let's get on uh back towards the yard and i guess we'll pull out some of the stuff i did go back there and move some stuff around so I guess we'll get to the yard and uh, empty some more of this stuff out. So let's do that. been sitting here for a little over an hour the facility we're going to is right there but the address they gave us was all the way down there on the other street and so I had to call and find out where they were at and we drove about a good mile over here but apparently uh, it was the wrong address so we are here picking up our load and we are going down to Laredo, Texas. Uh, we're not going home, obviously. And so we're here picking this up. Sorry guys, I had some orange drink. My lips look weird. Uh, it's okay. Anyway, I just talk like this. So we're here picking up hazmat load. Um, like I said, going down to Laredo. I think this company is affiliated with the company that burned down a couple of uh, weeks ago. And there's another Landstar truck pulling up. It was quite a, about two more, I think, Landstar trucks here. But it's going to take a while to get in there. There were a lot of trucks in front of us. But, uh, yeah, it's just weird. So the address they gave me was about a mile away from here. I have to call, hey, where am I going? Cause this address ain't pulling up and blah, blah, blah. And so they have to give me directions on uh, where to go. But we're here, but we were only about, I think three miles away from when I got off the interstate. So we were going in the right direction. Thank God we didn't have to go to a whole different side of Houston to find this place. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this on down there. and. I have not found a load coming out of Laredo yet, but from what I see, this um, this load is uh, going to a facility right there next to the Landstar terminal. So I might go to the terminal and do my 10 hour break there. And then just get up in the morning and go around the corner and get off loaded try to find something going straight home there i've had a few phone calls but nothing i want to really take 
but originally we were going to go home but it didn't work out like that so it'll give me a little bit more time to work on the truck and get it organized um, so we can eventually go ahead and give it back but uh hopefully in the next 20 minutes or so they can call me in there but they just called in another so that landstar truck uh that was like three or four dry vans in front of me just came out and so uh hopefully we'll be in there soon but all we're gonna do is sit here and wait it's one thing about trucking it's just a waiting game everything's always wait 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 so i'll see you guys inside the facility Backed up to this portable ramp. Not bad for no help. But let's go ahead and get everything situated, get loaded, and get on out of here. All right, y'all. We are loaded. We got, it's 4.30 right now. So we're probably going to run into some Houston rush hour, man. And that is not what I wanted. Truck coming in. Hold on, dude. Got some more Landstar trucks out here. places a cluster getting in and out of all right y'all i'll catch y'all later on i gotta get some fuel later i'll catch y'all at the fuel stop let me get on out of here y'all enjoy the traffic
got windy out there. I was wondering why my truck was kind of doing that, but that wind is kicked up. So we are getting fuel. We're gonna get some fuel in our tank. I don't want to get too much fuel. And we end up um, trading the truck back in or turning the truck back in with a, a whole tank of fuel. I don't want to do that. So I'm also not going to leave it on empty, but we're going to have enough in there. But we don't want it on full, putting all that money in there. So we are in Schulenburg, Texas. I think we still have another three, about four hours to go to get down to Laredo. So we'll get there. I'm taking my time. I'm not in a rush. Get down there around midnight or so. Get my hours back first thing in the morning. Well, about second thing in the morning, not too, too early. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves, guys, is at the truck stop when you're getting fuel and somebody's cleaning their whole entire truck with a little squeegee instead of just uh, cleaning the window, they're cleaning the whole entire truck. I don't know why that bothers me so much. Like, now the squeegee's all dirty. But whatever. But it has been a long day. I don't know why I'm... Well, I guess I know why. I haven't had the best... Uh downtime this week uh, so the struggle has been real but we'll make it not that bad still gotta go through San Antonio y'all know the drill take the loop around that's for hazmat and take I-35 all the way down there as I mentioned earlier we are going to be uh, probably going to the Landstar terminal I'm going to look on um, Google Maps to see if there's any on-site parking, but I highly doubt it. But worst case scenario, we'll just go down to the uh, Laredo terminal. But, oh man, guys, I think I gave y'all too much information earlier. And I really do think I gave y'all too much. And guys, if I ever see you out here on the road, come up to me and say, hey, I want my free visor, buddy, because I do have it back there. I met a subscriber earlier, and uh, he didn't mention it, so I didn't give it to him. So if you walk up to me and say, hey, I want a free visor, buddy, let me know, because I have one. So the next subscriber I see will be the one to get it. So be sure you, uh, you walk up to me and mention that, because I really do want to give it away. And I want to give it away to, to one of you, for sure. Whoa. I don't know what happened, guys. I think we're in Laredo. Yeah, I see there's a Landstar trailer there and there's a Landstar trailer there. I guess, I think we were just transported to Laredo, guys. Well, I mean, we made it here. I mean, I'm in one piece. I've got a different shirt on. But we made it to Laredo. Safe and sound. Wow. That was quick. If only I could transport like that every day. And just pick up a load and transport to where it needs to go. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Anyway, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Uh, I will discuss more at a later day of uh, what's kind of going on, what's taking place. Um, and also guys, also, 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 go to the website and purchase some merch. The 25th person to purchase merch, the 25th purchasee, the 25th order. I will throw in something extra. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But I will throw in something extra just to say thank you. Thank you for your support. So the 25th one. I'm not going to say how many orders we have in or what's going on. But I will go through. When I, I'm going to count down 25. When I get to number 25, you will get something extra. You will get something special along with your purchase. 
so yeah uh that's it guys like i said i'll discuss more i shared a lot today i shared too much today of what's going on but uh i will share more as time as time comes uh meanwhile check out my wife's channel our family channel we the spencer family link is down there in the description she's posting some of the behind the scenes stuff that goes on in our day-to-day -day, uh lives a uh, shout out to her for de uh, designing that website she did do an excellent job and she spent some uh some late nights you know uh doing that just to get it knocked out in a uh, short amount of time because we all have been requesting it so we wanted to go ahead and and get that done we did not want to disappoint um we have got some orders in i will be fulfilling those orders as soon as i get back home and then i need to go out and buy some more merch because some of the stuff y'all have ordered is on back order so i'm gonna be doing that this weekend when i get home too but anyway guys you rangers and you rangerettes if you have any merch ideas for any kind of sayings or anything on a shirt comment down below so i can uh, eventually put those on a shirt but guys i will catch you guys at noon central standard time on the next one.